Alright, I found where where to put the uh hole. But the only problem is it runs into the armature wire I set for the stem. It's called a neck, I think. Yeah, that's the neck. So anyway, anyway, that's the terminology. I went online last night and found uh, different things about guitars and parts of them. All right, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. I pushed the armature wire down deeper into the uh, clay itself. It still has a little lump in there. I there's nothing I can do about it. Maybe his hand will cover it. I don't know. All right, I've indicated the frets. That's a little cross uh, pieces of metal that uh, I guess you press your uh, strings on. And what I'm going to do right now is just try to smooth out the tuning area, the headstock. So you get an education here. All those of you that never thought of playing a guitar, now you know that this is called a headstock. I'm just going to indicate tuning knobs here. As many of you know, who follow my videos, I paint uh, objects that I create uh, for the uh, sculpture out of like, say, wax, or in this case, Super Sculpty. And I want to match the color of my clay. And this is the clay that I use primarily for my sculpture. The only reason I used Super Sculpty is because it's very tough and it uh, cools off uh, very hard and so I went to a uh, true value store where they sell paint and I had them match the color of my clay and so that I can come now and paint the uh, super sculpty to look just like my uh, clay. Now it doesn't hurt the uh, sculpture. It doesn't uh, affect the casting in bronze. It all comes out just fine. It just takes a question away from anybody viewing your sculpture. The less questions asked by a potential client, the better chance you have of selling from the clay. Also, it helps me to see it as a single object instead of multiple different uh, parts
So as you can see, I finished uh, painting the guitar. I'm just going to let it sit there and uh, dry. I stuck this wire up into the back of the guitar um, because I knew that that would not affect the sculpture at all because uh, it's going to be against the stomach of the uh, gentleman I'm sculpting. So it'll be hidden, the hole that I made. That's just so it keeps it off the uh, table and keeps it uh, from getting bad marks in the uh, clay, I mean uh, the paint. So now I'm going to start sculpting the figure and uh, get it ready to receive the uh, guitar. I'm just setting the ground level for the foot of the cowboy. I've marked on the armature where the bottom of the foot is, and it's right there. And that's the ankle. And uh, it just helps me to get everything in proper order. Now I'm debating whether to put a vest on him or just have him with a t with a shirt and suspenders. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. And I got plenty of time to do that. I'm just blocking in the uh, anatomy. I'm not too worried about every detail, every rib, every muscle, every tendon. I'm just blocking it in so that it looks like a human being under the clothing. I bring it in just a little further, which is a good possibility there. Well, anyway, that's what it's looking like. I'm going to have to do a lot more on his body before I can do much more on adding the guitar. But at least this gives me the possible positions for the uh, arms. All right, I'll pick this up tomorrow and uh, we'll see how far I get. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.